Hi everybody, welcome back to the Desmo Works channel and um, following getting some of the powder coated parts back we can start putting the bike back together. So today, today I'm going to get the headlamp bucket assembly all back together. So we've got all of the bolts that are re-powder coated, um, regulator rectifier has got to go back in, all the powder coated parts. I've run through all of the threads with taps just to make sure that they're clear. A couple were a little bit bunged up with powder coat, but actually they weren't too bad. Our excitement with the um, VIN number has been resolved, so I gently scraped it all away and then used um, some Nitromore's paint stripper. Obviously I went at quite a bit further back past the number because I didn't know where the number was and I actually started about there thinking that would be a good midpoint. Um, so the number's now exposed. The grey doesn't match perfectly, unfortunately, um, but as it's the VIN number, I don't mind it looking slightly different. And I, I tried to get as neat the edge as I could as possible I'm using Stanley blade after the nitromore's been in there. But it'll do. It will look, it still looks good as a frame and the VIN number's exposed, which is the main thing. So what are we going to do? Let's get this together and then that's one part of the bike reassembled and out of the way. So first things first, I need to get the regulator rectifier inside the right hand side of the bracket where it's got the mounting holes. So let's do that. The two mounting holes for the regulator rectifier are there, but the cable needs to run through this gap here. Okay, so that goes through. And then we've got two slightly longer bolts. Just gonna leave them loose until we've got it fully together so it doesn't jam. Then the two halves need to come together. That's the headlamp shell joined together with the regulator rectifier in there. Um, I had to take that one back out and put this one in. I forgot this um, this one sits um, this bolt with the cable retaining bracket is for the brake line, so it needs to be there, not at the front. Okay, let's stick the headlamp in. So first off, I've got to get these little rubber dampers in, which. sit sit one here one here one up here and one up here just literally squeeze them in like so and then their little collet goes through in the top like that Okay, headlamp goes in next. Okay, headlamps in. Nice spangly shiny bolts, which we plated ourselves. So remember the main mounting bolts, I'll just stick these in here now. So I know where they are. Okay, dash, dash mounting bungs. 
had to this one stripped if you remember when it came off so i'm gonna have to just use um, some pliers to mount that and they go just here side electronics panel so i need the two bungs in for the fuse block Cable stay just pushes on there. And then that's going to mount on there. But we also need to have the And the last headlamp bracket. There we have it, headlamp bucket back together. So um, all new plated bolts, powder coated, the original rector, regulator rectifier just cleaned up, original headlamp all just cleaned up. I've reused the two mash I've reused the two dash mounting bungs. Reused the original cable tie back and then the two rubber bungs are in for the fuse box. And then underneath we've got the stay for the brake line and I've put the two bolts in ready for when I go to mount it. All that's missing is all the electronic componentry which sits up there and I've still got to make a couple of repairs to that loom before we fit that. Um, only downsides, the tools are just in a couple of places were catching the powder coat. So it has sort of put some minor marks and there's one just down in there. So it's at two points where it come into contact, but I think you agree. First fully refurbished component of the bike ready to go back in so let's put that to one side for now okay next job i want to do is i want to get the uh, yokes in so i've got a replacement yoke with the steering lock not broken which i managed to pick up i still need to get a new top nut where somebody's forced that with a screwdriver for some reason so um as you'll see the bearing on the bottom was taken off sorry i I completely forgot to film that when I did that. So um, the spacer wash is still there, but the bottom race is gone. I've got the outer races in the freezer at the moment cooling back because they'll be going into here. So what I need to do is just remove these two outer races from the old roller bearings that sit in the headstocks. So I don't know if you're able to make it out in there, but there's a little lip so all we just need to do is get a little punch and just gently work out these bearings. Let's just do that quickly. First one out. Next one out. So you can see the little recess where the outer race is going to sit. So that's the same top and bottom. Um, bit of the powder coat's come off of the bottom, unfortunately. So what I'm just going to do is just clean those up so that we know that they're free of any debris before I just tap in the new races. The race seats are nice and clean. So what I'm going to do is just get the heat gun and just stick it down inside here, let the tube heat up slightly, being careful not to do any further damage to the powder coat, and then we'll tap the new races in.
Okay, that's the upper race in and and the lower race. Next job, we need to fit the lower race. So first off, dust seal. And then the other thing we need to do is pack this with grease. Got to get it right in. Right in where the roller is going, so you've got to force it in. You'll see some people just wrap it around like that, around the outside. But that doesn't put the grease in. What you've got to do is just force it into the race cage. So it's a bit mucky, but if you don't, you're not you're not really packing the bearing properly. So we just keep forcing this in and turn it a little bit. And then just pack some more in. See like that river of grease you get in there. Just keep forcing it in. Mucky work. And then likewise come back to the top. Just keep forcing it into the cage. Spin it again. And you'll start to feel when there's grease in there because the cage doesn't float around as much. It's quite quite loose until you preload it. Okay. We'll just Okay. One fully packed roller bearing. Or tapered bearing. Tapered roller bearing I should say. Okay, so that's gotta go this way in. And it's a it's an interference fit at the base. I've got an old um, suspension tube that I use. Okay, so that's now fully driven down onto the dust seal. There's no, there's no plate up or down, so we're in the right place with that. Right, before I just stick it in there, I'm just gonna grease both the upper, I'm sorry, this is the lower, the lower and the upper races as well. Just a little smear of grease on there. Okay, so we just drop that in. Put that in. Dust seal. So that just goes down on there. Then the cap.
top yoke. Okay, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to torque down the um, headstock bearings to get their correct setting until the bike is built up, the forks are in, and I can put it on its own weight so I know that everything's okay. Because what you do is you tighten it to a torque setting, then back it off half a turn just to check that this is free. So all I've done is at the moment is I've put this together so that I can get these bits out of the way. So there we go. So another little bit of the bike started to be reassembled. That is new headstock bearings fitted. Okay guys, so I'm going to call that video a wrap here now. So a little bit of progress made today in getting the bike back together. Apologies that we didn't start on the engine in this video, but I'm still waiting on a couple of the bearings to be able to put the engine back together. So as soon as they turn up, we'll get back into that. So we're at least starting to put the bike back together. So we've got the headlamp bucket back together headlamps in there we've got all of the new plated bolts in there and it's looking as one component ready to drop onto the bike once we start putting that together and i fit the new headstock bearings and have just put the yokes into the frame so that it's ready to go so if you've got any questions or comments stick them down below and i'll answer as soon as i can if you enjoyed the video chuck us a like and if you're not subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button and the bell for more content to come thanks for watching see you on the next video then cheers bye